Hello, hello. So today is a very, very, very auspicious day. Today is the Yud Shvat. It is the day that the previous Rebbe soul infinitely elevates in heaven. And because we are his generation, therefore, what happens is that he effectively, hopefully, because every generation has a Mashiach, a source soul, a rabbi, Rebians, basically charged with inspiring all of us. The one person, like it says in the Torah, God says that I will appoint someone like Moses in every single generation. There's a Moses of every generation. And so, today is a very, very, very holy day. And perhaps far more importantly, the Lubavitch Rebbe, the seventh Rebbe, which based on Kabbalah will be the Mashiach, became the Rebbe. And what does this mean for us, for me and for you? Well, like we mentioned, every generation has a sore soul, and their mission is to inspire us, to bring us to our greatest, and they have the truth. In fact, if you think about it, four-fifths of the Jews died in Egypt in the plague of darkness because they weren't willing to listen to the sore soul. They weren't willing to follow the program. There's a program, and throughout all of Jewish history, only the most committed, wisest, dedicated Jews are the ones that gather around the spiritual leader of the generation. There are many um, who are foolish, and uh, the worst of them are those who imitate Gentiles, like that worked well for the German Jews. And as Einstein said when he saw reform in America, he says, reminded him of the reform in Germany. And, um, you know, kind of liberal radicals are happy to take all they can get, like the Arabs, and then they'll, like the Nazis did, kill them last. Like Churchill said, an appeaser is one who feeds a crocodile hoping it will eat him last. But for normal people, some of them, they cling to old ways. They're not stupid, but they just don't have the kind of depth and passion and dedication and seeking of truth to follow the Rebbe of the generation. But considering that you do, we have to understand that our generation, of course, is the generation that's going to enter into the messianic realm. As we know that we are um, the generation of Mashiach, as the Rebbe says that we are the reincarnation of the Jews who left Egypt, we are going to enter, and it's probably going to happen really soon. One of the fascinating things that happen before Mashiach comes is the destruction of a Amalek. Like God says, my throne is not complete, my name is not complete until a Amalek the enemies of the Jews are destroyed. And never before in human history has there been greater love for the Jewish people. Has there been greater, um, really remarkable, miraculous times that even Arab countries, as Netanyahu said at the peace deal, that we have Arab countries that have um, united with Israel. And so we're living in remarkable times. And the bottom line is that soon Iran will be taken out, or at least the madmen of Iran, or the madman in Syria, and the Mashiach will be here. And literally, nobody knows exactly how much time they have. Unfortunately, just today, somebody that I know passed away. And so life is very tenuous. And so a person has to really right now, this moment, when it's such an auspicious day, make a full-fledged, infinite commitment that I dedicate my life to the Rebbe of the generation, to seeing the goal of bringing Mashiach fulfilled through dedicating my life to following the Torah and the mitzvahs. And this, of course, God sees the heart when He knows that your dedication is eternal, so too you create an eternal, infinite reaction.